Tracy Grimshaw, welcome to A Current Affair. First, the plumbing company accused of taking some elderly customers for an expensive ride. All say they were grossly overcharged for work at their homes. So we tracked down the owner with some hard questions. Amiga Service Solutions' superior team of technicians are committed to your satisfaction. These unhappy customers beg to differ. I felt terrible. I felt absolutely like I've been robbed. It's a nightmare. That's what it is. They say they've been taken for an expensive ride by Omega Service Solutions. I'm very disgusted. I've seen my mum upset all the time because of it, but it's just not right. And they're determined to put a stop to it. It's a complete fabrication in my life. Tibor, how much did Omega quote you to fix the job? According to them, to fix the problem was uh, $39,064 plus GST. And how much did you actually pay to fix the problem <laughs> with another company? With another company, I have paid $3,564, including GST. So the job That's a price difference of $35,500. If I sign it right on the spot, then uh, they will use it to $33,000. Tibor engaged Omega Service Solutions to resolve a problem with a sewage pipe in his front yard. But he says he smelt a rat and didn't sign on the dotted line. Somewhere. 74-year-old Ethel was more trusting. Ethel received this fridge magnet in the mail and ended up with this giant hole in her front yard. It makes you angry, you know, that they can, somebody can come and do this and they just walk away. Yeah, no, Ethel great. says she had a blocked pipe and called Omega. They quoted her $1,122. Ethel agreed and paid the money. The plumbers then dug this huge hole in her front yard and told her they needed a whopping $12,500 to finish the job. Money Ethel says she doesn't have. How has this impacted your mum? Oh, she's always upset, crying, going to bed upset. Mum's given them every opportunity to do it. They haven't come back and done it. We asked Rub's Plumbing to have a closer look. According to Brett, the job should cost... Roughly about 1000 to the 1500 mark. You'll receive our upfront fixed pricing, so you're guaranteed there will be no hidden fees. They did seniors' discounts. Pensioners discounts and I thought oh, that's that sounds good <laughs> Helen was having trouble with her hot water system. So she called Omega She claims they told her she needed a new tank and quoted her around three and a half thousand dollars I felt terribly stood over you might say in that there were two of them one of them was going me for my credit card and I said, well, you know, I think it's too much, you know. And he said, other people pay this. And, you know, and I said, well, it might be other people, but I don't have that sort of money. And I, you know, I knew I, it wasn't worth that much to replace a hot water service. After the deal was done, Helen says she showed up at the Amiga headquarters day after day until she finally got a portion of her money back. Oh, well, I, I'd made, really made a conquest there. Mm. If she's said my name, mm. Alan Ferguson, yeah, she has. she'd be lying because right. I've never met her. And I, I stand by that. Mm -hmm. Alan Ferguson runs Omega Service Solutions. While these elderly people say they've been left out of pocket, Alan's been flying up the pointy end of the plane on a holiday of a lifetime. Do you take advantage of your customers? Absolutely not. No? We've seen, seem to have noticed a... a a pattern in elderly customers who claim to have been ripped off by your company. My business was founded by myself and my father 30 years ago and it's um, the majority of our customers are elderly. We caught up with Alan as he pulled into a mega HQ. It, it's more than likely if, if a mistake has been made um, with the invoice, it's um, more than likely a refund would happen. And how many accidents might happen? How many refunds do you, do you give back? As a percentage of all the jobs we do, it would be very, very low. It would be less than 1%. Do you train your staff to overcharge your customers? Absolutely not. I think we make the mistake if we've accidentally charged someone for a job that 
shouldn't be done, we rectify it. We always have done. The prices were 10, 20 times what you'd normally charge. Yeah. This whistleblower says he was a subcontractor for Omega Service Solutions. Did you ever feel a sense of guilt walking into these homes knowing what they were being charged? Yeah, it wasn't a nice feeling, to be honest. They seem to send apprentices out more often than tradesmen. And, yeah, it just seemed to be a lot of elderly people. They target certain areas, firstly, where there are older people residing who have a disposable income. Secondly, they target areas where there's a high percentage of non-English speaking Australians. They have a, a critical response so that when people like me approach them, or people like you, uh, they come back as if they're you know, holier than thou. We're wonderful, hard-working, decent people, particularly the owner. And good morning and welcome. I'm Ray Hadley. Great to 2GB have you and 4BC's Ray Hadley says he's received an influx of calls from unhappy Omega customers. Ray says he offered Alan Ferguson the opportunity to defend himself on his show. But when Ray refused to hand over a list of questions in advance, Alan backed out. The Department of Fair Trading and the Minister of New South Wales, Kevin Anderson, is looking at them very, very closely. And I'd hope that the programs like this and mine will put pressure on them to start acting decently because they're not acting decently, in my opinion, at the moment. The original bill came to $1,122 um, and by joining the membership, uh, she comes down to 617 okay, so you know, it's pretty enticing and she jumped all over that. Um, but that's when the problem really started. Shane's mum, Glenda, hired Omega to repair a block drain that was causing some flooding. The plumbers left a massive hole in her front yard and asked Glenda to cough up another $13,000. We renegotiated a new rate, which I thought was fair and equitable, because I wanted his subbies to be paid. They came to an agreement of seven and a half thousand dollars. How would you describe this whole ordeal for you and for your mum? Uh, traumatic for mum, um, time-consuming for me. We charge what we have to charge to stay in business, while I'm still in business. Poor Ethel's had the hole in her front yard since May this year. Omega won't do anything about it, so we found a plumber who would. We're here to look after you and Rab's Plumbing's here to help you to get your sewer back on track and we're here to help you out. Well, thank you to a current affair of Rab's Plumbing. I'm so grateful. Fair Trading tells us it's investigating Omega Service Solutions. If you've had an issue with them, please get in touch.